A great-grandfather from Canada Bay is lucky to be alive tonight after his home garage collapsed on his car, trapping him in the driver's seat. The 87-year-old was pulling in when he apparently bumped a support column, bringing the whole structure crashing down. Agostino Cacciotti is stretched to a waiting ambulance, battered, bruised, in shock. Ready, everyone got a side? But remarkably intact considering what just happened. This was his garage and his green Toyota Camry. Trapped inside, at risk of being crushed, was Mr Cacciotti. The year old had driven into a brick pillar, causing everything above to cave in. Neighbour Anthony Woodcock heard the massive crash. I could see him, he tried to get out of the car and he had the door open only a couple of inches and he managed to get his foot out. It took emergency crews an hour to free him, much to the relief of his daughter. I'm, I'm a bit in shock. The crews had to stabilise the roof area uh, so that they could safely work inside the vehicle. The great-grandfather was taken to Sydney Hospital with a hand injury. He's certainly a lucky man. It could have been a lot worse based on what I've seen here today. Firefighters say the whole garage will have to be demolished and rebuilt. Engineers will assess whether there's been any significant damage to the house itself and Mr Cacciotti's car is also a write-off. Neighbours say it'll clip his wings because he's very active. I've got two young boys and they treat him like a, a grandfather sort of thing. He's also described as a tough old man who won't let a ton of bricks knock him down. Well, Jessica Dietrich joins us from Sydney Hospital. Jess, how is Mr Cacciotti tonight? Mel, the 87-year-old is in a stable condition. He was conscious during that whole ordeal, but was in shock more than anything. Firefighters can't believe how lucky he was that he wasn't badly in injured. The main concern is his right hand, and Sydney Hospital has a dedicated hand unit here with specialist surgeons, so he really is getting the best of care while his family sorts out the repairs to his property. Mel? He's clearly tough. Jess, thank you.